All right, so I've come in and I've attached this 8 out thread just behind the eye of the hook. I'm going to come in, taking the back half of a dragon tail, just the tip, and then I've stripped off the fibers here so I have a little bit of an exposed string bed. Come in, catch that string, and walk that back to just in front of the bend of the hook. I'm going to let my bobbin hang there. Then I'm going to come in with a little bit of 0.03 lead wire. It's just going to give me a little bit of weight to sink this. I'm going to start right in front of the bend and I'm just going to lay down some side by side wraps. I want to make sure I leave a little bit of a gap in front of this so that I can tie off some materials and have a little space to finish this the way that I want. So I can break those off with my fingernail and thumb. Come in here, catch this, overlay it with some thread. And I'm going to end up right back there in front of the tail. I'm going to bring this in and this is uh, our distribution's lively crustacean legs. Pretty cool material. It's got a little bit of synthetic material to build the body up with some nicely barred rubber legs. So I catch that once again right in front of the tail. Go ahead and return that thread just behind the eye of the hook. And then I'm going to start to wrap this forward. All that matters is when I bring this forward, that once I start to lay down wraps, I brush this back. So I'm going to take my hands, brush back. The inside of this is wire, so you can put quite a bit of tension on it. You want to wiggle this through here. I'd like to catch it with at least two wraps behind it. Come in, catch it in front of it. And then I'm going to use the back groove of my scissors here and not the front. We just slide those in right up in there. Snip that off. We'll pull this material back. Stick the nose that up in there. Just build up a nice thread head to secure that material. Now once you've got that pretty well locked down, come in and we finish this by hand. Snip it. And I like to take a little bit of a brush. Brush that out. And then I'm going to come in with my scissors right across the top. I'm going to trim this off flat. And that was always the sake of durability. Take a little bit of zappa gap. Take that, run that around it.